Well, it's Wednesday, about 10. I'm getting ready to go to the uh, fourth farmer's market. I've been sharpening a pair of scissors for a guy I just got through. I got my truck loaded. I added a new shelf to my truck yesterday. I just put some 2 by 6s across the bottom of it and put another piece of plywood on top of that. Actually, I got a piece of sheet board right there. You can't see it very well. And then the plywood sets on top of that. And I got bungee on it so it don't slide back. It's got uh, slippery stuff on it so it can, so I can actually slide this out. It's like a slider. This slides out as well. I may show you how that works this afternoon. It works pretty damn good. <clears throat> but I'm just about ready. I got to put this back in. I just got through with them scissors. Okay. I'll see you in a little while. It's not quite three yet. They're bringing them already in. A gathering, a nice one. Global, the sun. It says three to six. Yeah. That's really cool. Well, it's 3.03. The market has just opened. And I got 18 knives already before 3 o'clock. I don't know if that's the start of a ripper day or not, but we'll find out. Stand by. Okay, uh, 15 more minutes to go. I haven't been able to get around much because I've been sort of busy, but the market has not been as busy as it normally is. It's getting busy now because it's up quarter to six, a lot of people are off work, you know, taking it, taking it easy. How you making out today? Doing all right today. Still got a lot of product left. Yeah. That's what, how's Miss Pat doing? Oh, well, she's doing well, enjoying her break. I'm getting ready to say, they have, you better come back to work. <laughs> <laughs> How's it been over there? Well, when I got home, I had a big package at the door. I'm pulling the peanuts off of it now. Look, this is a guy that has all those German daggers. He told me last week he was sending me some more daggers, some rare ones. You know as much as I know at this moment. Peanut daggers. Well, the first layer is daggers. And the little pieces. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in the first layer. I don't know what's below there. These are authentic World War II daggers. All I do is clean them up. I don't sharpen them. This is really good shape right here. What little I know about daggers. He said these are rare ones. Mm -hmm. They're pretty cool though. Well, it's Thursday morning now, 8.30. This is continuation from yesterday. I got a new sharpening gig today. I didn't unload my truck. Oh, I got it locked, never mind. So it's, it's still full. I'm going to a big fishing tackle store that's been in business in Virginia Beach for I don't even know well over 70 years 80 years maybe 
called Princess Anne Distributing. My family bought tackle from them when we had a little teeny marina way back when in the 40s and 50s, 60s. And then when I got big enough to go fishing, I bought a lot of tackle from them. They moved twice in 80 and 90 years. They're in a new location <clears throat> down from where they used to be on 17th Street in Virginia Beach. I'm going to set up in the parking lot. First time. I'm going to do it on Tuesdays, I mean on Thursdays from 11 to 2 every Thursday during the summer. Like I do basically like a farmer's market. Sort of like that tractor supply thing I tried last year with tractor supply, you know, when I worked there for. Sundays. I never had much business at the tractor supply place except for lawnmower blades and horseshoe, I mean horse clippers, which I didn't do. I don't know what this is going to be like, but I'm going to try it. And you know I got a Thursday farmer's market, but it starts next Thursday, every second Thursday. It's in the afternoon from 4 to 7. <clears throat> So I'm going to work this place from 11 to 2, and then I'm going to come home and pick up my leader, and we're going back to King's Grant Farmer's Market every other Thursday. So it should be interesting. A lot of the people have been hunting to the beach, something in the water, that big festival we had, after they let them in and after they got some of the stuff down where they, you know, they had so many stages and things, they, they wouldn't let them hunt in there, but been a lot of rings found. I mean, like one guy found 10, another guy found 8. I think my buddy Anna found 2. Uh, Gigmaster, I think Gigmaster found 1. Lots of change, lots of junk, but no gold rings. All crap, you know what I mean? Some sinkers, you know, know where the hell they come from. All right, that's it. I'm finished rambling now. I'm going back inside and get some coffee. I'll get back to you in a little while when I get down there. You hear the jets? I'm in the land of Nala. There's the tackle shop right there. Princess Anne Distributed. I'm right here on 17th Street. Some people call it Virginia Beach Boulevard. Land of Nala's right there, four blocks. It's a little breezy today. I had to put my weights out, but I'm ready. And it's even got electricity. Generator is sitting in the truck. Juice. I like it. I'm just going to put one thing up and sit around for a while. I don't expect to do. If I do any knives, I'll be okay. I got a guy picking up some knives from yesterday, but that's all. We'll see how it goes. We'll sit down here and take a break. A nice cool breeze. That big tall building you see right there, that's the uh, convention center where we have the gun show. We're only three blocks over from that. We got lots of jets. We got lots of wind. That's why keep cooking, boy. I gotta wait it down, too. Well, I got a first customer. Four knives. Got you all fixed up. Thank you very much. Okay, buddy. Well, you saw the one customer. I got another another customer coming. Guy just came by and said, oh, I'm bring my knives back. We'll have to see what he's got. some wire snippers and another bench mate. My buddy Stacy stopped by to say hello. See how I was doing. He was cutting some hair scissors, salon scissors right down the street. You know Tracy works at gun shows with me. 